Hey guys, it's the day after Christmas, Monday, and uh, got to go out hunting on some private property. This is a camp. Landowner said we could come out here. We tried hunting this morning. It was brutal. It was 13 degrees. So we came back out here for the afternoon hunt. He's telling us about a different spot we could hunt, and we tried it. And I picked this tree out. There's my stand right there. Right at four o'clock, I had two deer came in. As I'm setting up, I was way up that tree. And usually I hang my camera on the edge of my stand. Usually my stand's in one or two. So I have that pole to stick my camera on. And I was putting the arm around the tree. I knocked my camera. So it dropped all the way. So instead of getting down, I just stayed up there. Couldn't film anything. But I had a deer. I don't know if I can get it on. There was the first one. You see the white belly. And let's see if I can find this one. And there's the white belly right there. Now, there was three deer together and I'm always nervous to shoot a mom and a baby end up shooting a button head but these are both does we'll walk over here real quick before i run out of light i'm done you only shoot two a day but double lot buck my mossberg 500 pump shotgun it did the trick this one of course it dropped in its tracks but it it kicked around and i believe it's because it's a headshot you know, some deer, other critters, when you hit them in the head, they tend to, they tend to keep floundering around. So that's a good size doe. I mean, that's probably 100 and 110 pounds. So for around here, that's a good deer. Now we'll walk over here to this other one. And this is not scouting this area, just walking in and looking what I could see. And apparently I picked a good spot. I saw some trails. I saw a few little rubs. I saw one nice rub in there. Of course, it's not mating season anymore. It's so late in the season. But here's the other deer. This was the first one. And this one was weird. This one, that, that buckshot put a whammy on her. I'm thinking every one of these, I think is a buckshot hole. Well, of course, there's one. There's one in the neck. So, this deer, when I shot it, it fell over like a statue. I wish I had the camera arm up. But I probably would have had it on this side of the, of the tree. And might have got this deer, but might not have got the other deer. But when I dropped this one, two others were running around in here. And they stayed. The other one came over closer to me. I was like, well, if you're going to give me the opportunity, I'm going to take it. So I went ahead and shot her, dropped her. And there was another one. It just kept walking back and forth, back and forth. I was hoping it would go back in, through the woods towards Benjamin. But that didn't happen today. But we got it done. Two nice eaten does. That ought to be nice and tender, nice and juicy. Put meat on the table. Merry Christmas, y'all. We'll see y'all later.